Right next to Cole Park is Harbor del Sol, and just a couple years back, it was filled with dozens of parked boats. Now, not so much. In fact, developers are trying to fix that. One month even fishing out six sunken boats from the harbor. Our Ashley Gonzalez went out there today and shares what's in store for that harbor and one couple's reason why in tonight's top story. Here at Harbor Del Sol, there are about 30 plus boats behind me. You can't see them because they're all underwater because of severe weather and Hurricane Hannah being the cherry on top. Here what two locals are going to do with the mess behind me for the future of Corpus Christi. When you see the red dots, they're sunken boats. Red dots, sunken boats. Green dots, not sunken boats. So much debris. There was garbage, there was oil spills, there was um, uh, hundreds of pieces of the dock that had broken open and were just scattered all over the marina. And of course there was boats that were heavily damaged. Some of them sank. And uh, there was already sunken boats in the marina from years past, so it w they broke up into many, many pieces. This is what Harbor del Sol looked like the week after Hurricane Hannah blew in. Versus now, not much has changed. That's where Christine Canterbury and John Murray come in. This is kind of where I run and jog through, and this is, has been an eyesore for a while. And um, my husband has the background of boating and marinas, and so started looking into it and sort of develop from there. Christine and John have some big plans for this harbor. A boardwalk, he's got plans for some other amenities uh, like, like uh, um, uh, cafes and, and, uh, and uh, drinking areas. So I think it can be a huge success for our city and a huge win uh, for the citizens uh, because not only will it uh, attract uh, visitors here, uh, but it's also going to clean up in an area that, that really needs it. But before the boardwalk, dozens of boats and other things need to be fished out from the bottom. We're already tied onto it, so once we bring the barge in, we'll be able to lift it up. But it's buried so deep we can't get it with the excavator. Everything that has to do with running and operating a marina is underwater. So we have to pull up all the electrical cables, all the um, water, sewage, all that stuff has been busted up with the docks. The future of Harbor del Sol so far is coming out of John and Christine's pockets. It's not the cities, it's not the county, it's not GLO, it's not Texas Parks and Wildlife. It's a uh, management of the of the marina. So we'll take what we can, any help we can get, but this is our responsibility. We're going to fix it. They say right now they're in phase one of four and hope to gain support from the community on this journey. Asha Gonzalez, 3 News.